Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, two purple uh, squares put together, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, horizontal uh, length uh, is uh, 100 uh, centimeter, whereas the side length uh, of this uh, larger square is uh, x. And furthermore, the combined uh, area for both of these uh, squares is 5018 centimeter square and now our task is to find the value of this side length x and once again keep in your mind that both of these are squares please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and in this video, I'm going to share with you with two different uh, approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first uh, method. Both of these uh, squares are colored differently. The smaller square is a green one and the larger square is a blue one, such that uh, this uh, combined uh, horizontal length is uh, 100 centimeter and this uh, side length of the larger square is uh, X and their combined area is 5018 centimeter square and now we are going to think outside the box and here in this next step i have rotated this shape counterclockwise 180 degrees so that we got another shape and now i'm going to put these two shapes together as you can see in this next diagram and now let's make an observation we can see if this side length is 100 centimeter then uh, this side length uh, has got to be 100 uh, centimeter as well. And furthermore, uh, if this uh, combined uh, area for both of these uh, squares is a uh, 5018 uh, centimeter square, then this uh, area is going to be 5018 centimeter square as well. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, big uh, square. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to S square, where S represents the side length. And in our case, our side length is 100 centimeter. So therefore, the area of this big square is going to be 100 square, and that is going to be equal to 10,000 centimeter square. And furthermore, the combined area for all these squares is going to be 5018 plus 5018 as well. So if we add them, the combined area is going to become 10,036 centimeter square. And now we are interested in finding the area of this tiny square. So therefore, if we subtract these numbers, the tiny square area turns out to be 36 uh, centimeter square. So therefore, the area of this uh, tiny square turns out to be 36. So thus, uh, all its uh, side lengths are going to be 6 uh, centimeter. And if uh, this uh, side length is uh, 6, then this uh, side length is going to be 6 centimeter as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this uh, side length uh, equal to this uh, side length and this side length is equal to this uh, side length let me represent this side length as a lowercase uh, a then this side length is going to be lowercase a as well then this uh, whole uh, length uh, is going to be a plus uh, 6 uh, plus uh, a and if we add them that is going to be 2a plus uh, 6 and we also know that this whole uh, length uh, is 100 centimeter as well. So therefore, I can write uh, 2a plus uh, 6 uh, equal to 100. Now let's go ahead and subtract uh, 6 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore, our 2a value turns out to be 94. And now let's divide both sides by 2. So therefore, our a value is going to be 47 centimeter so thus our uh, this uh, side length uh, turns out to be 47 and this uh, side length is uh, 47 as well so therefore the side length uh, of this uh, blue square is going to be 6 plus uh, 47 
if we add them that is going to give us uh, 53 centimeter and since we are dealing with this uh, square if this side length uh, is uh, 53 then this side length uh, x uh, is going to be 53 centimeter as well so thus our x value turns out to be 53 centimeter and now let me show you the second uh, method and now let's focus on this uh, larger uh, square its uh, side length uh, is uh, x then uh, this side length uh, is going to be x uh, as well now let's assume that this uh, side length uh, of this uh, smaller square is uh, y and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole uh, length is going to be x plus y and this whole length equal to 100 so we can write uh, x plus y equals to 100 and now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s uh, represents the side length of the square and in our case since the side length if this uh, larger square is x so therefore the area for this uh, larger square is going to be x square and likewise uh, the side length of this uh, smaller square is uh, y so therefore the area of this uh, smaller square is going to be y square now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, combined uh, area for both of these uh, squares is uh, 5018 centimeter square and this area is also represented by x square plus uh, y square as well so therefore i can write this one as uh, x square plus uh, y square equals to 5018 and now our task is uh, to solve uh, this system of equations uh, to find the value of uh, x and now let's recall uh, this famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as uh, a square plus b square plus 2ab and likewise the second uh, identity a minus b whole square could be written as uh, a square plus b square minus 2ab and now let's go ahead and add uh, these uh, two equations if we add them we can see positive 2ab and negative 2ab they are uh, gone so therefore on the left hand side we are going to get uh, a plus uh, b whole uh, square plus uh, a minus uh, b whole uh, square equals to if we combine uh, these uh, like terms uh, that is going to give us two times uh, a square plus uh, b square so this turns out to be our new formula and here's our next step uh, if i replace uh, a by x and uh, b by y then this equation is going to look like uh, as you can see in this uh, next uh, equation and now let's make an observation we can see that x uh, plus y is uh, 100 from this uh, equation so i'm going to replace this one by 100 over here and likewise uh, i'm going to replace this x square plus y square uh, by this uh, 5018 uh, over uh, here as you can see this uh, next step i have replaced uh, this x plus y by 100 and here x square plus y square by 5018 and now let's go ahead and subtract uh, 10,000 from both sides this is gone so therefore we ended up with the uh, x minus y whole uh, square equal to 36 let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking the square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore we got uh, x minus y turns out to be positive uh, 6 is keep in your mind that this value is going to be positive 6 uh, since uh, x is larger than y so therefore our x minus y value turns out to be positive 6 and here's our next step let's focus on these uh, two equations and here i have copied them down now let's go ahead and add uh, these two equations we can see this positive y and negative y is gone so therefore we ended up with the 2x equal to 106 now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 this is uh, gone so therefore our x value turns out to be 53 centimeter so thus our x value turns out to be 53 centimeter thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye